Today let's focus on pulling walls. First, I'm going to get two hands engaged to the clay, liberal amounts of water. I am holding it securely. There's going to be a downward pressure, as you can see with my thumbs. And we're applying this downward pressure so we can secure the clay onto the bat. And close up the seams around the edge, otherwise water might uh, slide under. See how it's stable and it's sturdy on the bat, it's not moving or wiggling around. Two hands on either side, mostly the palms. It's not about the fingers, it's really about the palms. And you're applying pressure, starting at the base of the cone, and as you are traveling up, your hands will taper. The palms come together like a prayer position. Now, before we do a second cone motion, we are going to take a sponge and we are going to push up all that extra clay that's starting to gather at the bat, all that chunky monkey, and we're going to push it right back into the cone. We don't want to waste that clay, we want to use it up. Sometimes clay just starts building up down there and it's such a distraction, it really makes things really uneven. So by pushing all that clay back into the body, it's incorporated into this cone. You see how all the clay in my cone is being used efficiently. The cone is kind of cylindrical. It's tall and even and cylindrical. Now to bring the cone down, I'm going to have my hands cupped without any spaces or gaps in between my fingers. In a firm, cupped position, I'm going to press down using my thumb muscles. Not the thumbs themselves, but just the muscles and I'm exerting that downward pressure. Now hopefully you already know how to center. Uh, if you don't, maybe I'll make another video about that, but really I'm assuming here at this point, let's say that you know how to center. I mean, I'm just hugging it, and it was pretty simple for me as I'd kept it centered pretty much the entire time, even in the cone stages. So right now just hugging it was enough. Of course, it's a lot easier said than done, but um, now I'm going to take the side of my finger, the length of my index finger, just like the bone, that's what I call it, and I'm going to run it along the, the profile, the outside. And that's just to ensure that there's no random lumps and bumps and it's all indeed centered. Now we're going to start to drop the hole. And I'm just using two thumbs. I'm going to create a divot first. This little pool this little divot is really important because it gives your thumbs a trajectory in which it will enter. Now the fingers are secondary characters, it's not really a big deal, but they're just caressing the outside, guarding it in case things go wobbly. But it's really the thumbs here that are powerful and they're pushing down. Be confident, take a deep breath, come sit right over your wheel and position yourself so that your thumbs are going to go straight down. The divot, that slope, is there to help you stay centered. See how my fingers, they're not really doing much, they're just caressing the outside. Again, I just want to go deep as I can with the thumbs and until a point where I'm going to switch to my fingers, so my inside hand, I'm going to grasp the inside of this donut and like a claw, I'm going to pull it while gripping my outside hand. Now I'm going to I'm going to establish the diameter of which I want that floor. I'm going to give it a tight hug, but do, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to take my my inside hand fingers and I'm pulling it towards my outside hand, the palm of my outside hand. You want to relegate different jobs to different hands, right? I have an inside hand and an outside hand. And look at how my thumbs are touching for stability. Now I'm just going to compress along the floor, going back and forth with just my fingertips. The entire time, I'm not using my fingers for the outside, I'm just using the palms. You know, the, the strong part of my palm, the part that's closest to the wrist, that's, that's connected to the bone, that's what makes it strong. Now, this is diameter that I like. Now the first pull is really just making the wall even. I mean, it's barely a wall right now, it's like a donut, but really, just don't think about height, just think about making the thickness even. From top to bottom, it's even, it doesn't have to be thin, 
and it doesn't have to be tall it just has to be even now I'm gonna do a little backwards P it's out of the frame but see how my hands form like a backwards letter P so one hand is skimming along the rim both the inside and outside and then if you see my right hand it's like level now the, that combination will create a very strong lip a level and even lip otherwise if you don't do that the lip gets very weak and soggy now I'm gonna get into position I start about a centimeter off ground I don't think that it's necessary to start right at the bat you wanna get a hold until the clay stops bumping around where it feels very even you wanna get a hold where your outside hand is slightly under your inside hand and you see there's like a little ring that's forming right now so my outside hand is supporting under the ring where the shadow is so the outside hand is under the ring my inside hand is pushing out protruding out creating that ring this donut that's rising up up the pot outside hand is slightly under and supporting this donut moving it up all the way to the lip but really just imagine it's like a donut that you've created at the bottom of the pot and you're just pushing that donut all the way up and that is how you efficiently moving the clay up also check out my throwing lines very even very evenly spaced and consistent from top to bottom now now we are gonna try this again this time I want to show you what it looks like with a sponge the first step is just to even out the walls you're not looking for height or thinness you really just want things to be very even all around there's a little height to it but this is a real pull is when you've got that little shadow under there your inside hand is pushing out at that bubble creating that ring and your outside hand holding that sponge tightly firmly confidently assertively <laughs> and you're using that sponge and you're traveling that ring all the way up all the way to the top and again I'm going to compress and level off that lip and here in a time-lapse video you can see right you can actually see very clearly uh, the ring that moves up so here just with my fingers you can tell there's like a shadow and then the ring itself is moving up now I'm taking a rib just to clean up straighten out compress the walls one more time with the sponge there and that's about it using ribs to straighten out the cylinders uh, and removing all the excess moisture and slip from the surface When I'm using the ribs, I'm pressing the length of my finger on the inside against the rib and using the rib as like a mold, as a straight edge to straighten out my pot walls. And that is all. Thank you so much for watching.